Hello there and welcome to a brand new video. This video is loot from Demonic Gorillas. So basically this is where I am. I'm currently in the tree and I'm stronghold right next to the big grand tree. So what we've got to do is we're going to head towards northwest to this little gate here which will take us to the Demonic's Lair. You need requirements of Monkey Madness to completion and uh, yeah and just have fun with this grind because it's not very fun whatsoever you need to make sure you have two switches either melee and range is the best i'm um, sticking to my trusty rune crossbow and uh, yeah this is what my kill count is looking like so far on this character we've killed 1927 demonic gorillas this isn't fun we've killed two tortured gorillas as well but tortured isn't very worthwhile demonics is definitely worthwhile especially for their drops the drops are very interesting indeed and the best ones of course is a zenite zenite is about 13 million gp these days it seems to be averaging around that price uh, up and down so yeah basically they're one in 300 drop and currently i'm sitting at this number with three zenites my name i should have got that by 900 KC on average, so I'm over 1000 drop rate for the extra ones I should have gotten. So, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll show you a little montage of drops that I've been getting from this loot video and then we'll have a look at the uh, loot tracker to see what you can get. Also, I'm just going to show you a clip of me killing it so you can understand what it looks like, how to kill them. And they have overhead prayers, so that's why you have to have two switches. And it is best to use range and melee here. Now this is the setup I'm using. This is an Iron Man, of course. I do have the blowpipe, but I do not have certain things with it, like scales and darts at the moment. So what I'm using instead is actually the Dragonstone Bolts Enchanted. I'm using the Blood Fury, which is very, very useful here, actually. It might be a waste to some people, but to me, it actually extends my trips by about five to six kills. And then as you can see the rest, i got the Arc Light, I'm using the Ava's Accumulator, I've uh, got the old uh, Needs Not Face Guard, uh, Carol's Top and Bottoms, uh, Ferocious Gloves, the Primordial's Boots, and also Ring of Suffering as well to get extra damage on these. So passing through this gateway, we go towards the northeast corner towards this burnt off area in the map, all part of the quest line of the gnomes to all the way to the monkey madness 2. Excellent quest line in my opinion, one of the best ones I really enjoy doing. But uh, you go through this dungeon icon into the lair of these weird looking creatures. Here these are just the normal gorillas that have no overhead prayer, we don't want to touch those tortured ones. We're going to go towards the demon like which has the overhead prayers those are the ones that drop the real money and i mean money but here you can work out why you need a two-way switch the way you can work out on what they throw is throwing rocks is the range attack so you make sure you do range they also attack you with also magic and melee and this other weird special attack where there's a random rock coming from the sky you literally just tap around away from that uh, tile and you'll be safe so here you see is a weird green blob flown towards you that is more of the uh, magic attack and also once they come attacking you melee the way of doing it is basically if you stand a couple squares away from them when you're arranging them uh, they'll come forward just like that that's when it indicates to quickly switch over to melee prayer they will change their prayer every time you hit them but only if you hit them up to 50 or more hit points of their damage and they'll just go back and forth from what you've been doing so i just hit them with melee and they will soon shortly pray melee shortly just now and then i'll go over to the range switch and they will also switch a variety it seems to be attack of three um, attacks for them and that's when they change around but uh yeah quite a good drop there as well clue scroll elite one in 500 very very lucky to get that as a first one of the drop uh, we're going to have a look at the drop tables of what they actually drop at this place and they drop an interesting amount of stuff one of the most best things they can do is drop in the zenite also the blister pieces also quite a lot of alcohols seeds 
and herbs. Herbs are mainly noted. They also drop a random amount of rare table drop. And uh, yeah, anyway, sit back, enjoy this video, and uh, enjoy the montage of drops I managed to get from 1,000 kills of these annoying creatures. The last kill of the 1000 at Demonic Gorillas, and we get Javelin Heads. Nice way to end it. Now I'm going to show you a, a drop table I managed to get, a drop tracker of 1000. And uh, we'll probably come back here because I'm still missing a couple of items on the collection log. But for now, I'm going to take my nice ant break from this place and never come back here for a very long time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the drop tracker and here we can see what drops I got and what drops I should have expected but anyway cheers for watching and I'll see you in the drop table part. So on the left hand side is the drop tracker of all 1000 kills with two Zenites. We were rather unlucky on the Zenites. We should have gotten at least three Zenites but I can't really complain. I managed to get quite a lot of other drops like ballista pieces, no um, heavy a frame or monkey tail, which was a bit unlucky as I am over the drop rate for those. But regardless, certain things I was lucky on and certain things I wasn't. Over 40 million GP in items and drops, so very, very well worth doing these monsters and they can be very profitable. Unfortunately, the kills per hour depends on your gear as I've been doing this on my Iron Man, the gear isn't very optimal, that wasn't the best. So I was getting probably about 40, 50 kills maybe an hour, but all depends on the concentration levels because they require high concentration on killing these with the prayer switches as well as switching with your combat stuff like range to meadow switches. Anyway. On to the last part where I'll show you a little bit of the drops I got. And uh, yeah, I'll see you then. And here at the gravestone we have got ourselves 2,290 demonic gorillas killed. Ignore the two tortured gorillas, but that's how many I've killed and that's how many I've got uh, four Zenites in that space of kill count in total. Uh, that is incredibly unlucky um, because they're a 1 in 300 drop rate. That's should be getting 4 in 1200, so I'm nearly times 2 of the drop rate, so I could have got f nearly 8 by now. So yeah, here is some of the drops we managed to get from today's uh, today's video. And uh, yeah, looks quite juicy, but I did make these as well. There are some things I've already used up on my iron already, but uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.